All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to lesson four of the Surfside PPC Money course. Uh, today, we're going to go over how to set up your domain name and hosting. Uh, so we're going to be building a WordPress website. You're going to need to host your website. Um, the way our, we're building our our website is it's going to end up being, you know, a huge, huge website with tons of files, a huge database. So you need good hosting. Um, so what I recommend using is HostGator. Um, all my websites are hosted through HostGator. Uh, I've also used Bluehost successfully. I've used a couple other hosts that I like. There's a few I don't like, but with hosting, um, what you find basically is, you know, you kind of get what you pay for. So if you're, you know, if you look for a free web host or you look for something cheaper, it's going to be a little slower. You might have downtime on your website. You might have times where, you know, 10 people go to your website and it all kind of breaks. So you need uh, good hosting. What I like to start with um, is, so what you can actually do is go to surfsideppc.com slash go slash hostgator.php. And if you go to this website, um, we'll actually have a special deal, deal for you. Uh, where you can save on your hosting, um, so, and it also gives us a kickback, so it's it's helpful for us. So if you go to surfsideppc.com slash go slash hostgator.php, it's a great way to help support the videos. Um, you know, all these videos are going to be released for free. All this information is going to be released for free. There's no extra cost, but when you go here, uh, it's going to bring you to Hostgator, and you could actually get, um, you know, a little bit off your, your hosting so what I like to do is use cloud hosting. Um, it kind of goes in order here a little bit, except I think cloud hosting is, is pretty good. What Kind of the way it goes is web hosting is your lowest, you know, lowest bandwidth, lowest amount of space, um, so lowest cost, everything like that. Cloud hosting is your next step up. Uh, then you go to WordPress hosting, kind of similar to cloud hosting, but it's just for WordPress websites. I don't like WordPress hosting that much. Um, it's kind of good if you just have like a WordPress blog. What we're going to be creating is, you know, a little bit more robust than that. So um, then you have, you know, VPS, virtual private server. Um, so that's good. So basically, instead of being on a cloud hosting server, you're on your own virtual private server, a little bit more space, a little bit more power. And then, you know, at the top is dedicated hosting. So dedicated hosting is you pay for your own server. And basically, your website is just the only website on that server. It's great for large websites. You know, any huge website is on a dedicated server, probably on multiple dedicated servers. Um, so all we're going to do uh, for our website to start is cloud hosting. You can start with web hosting. It's a little bit cheaper. Cloud hosting is a little bit more expensive. But it's, you know, you could even see here two times faster, four times the resources statistics dashboard there's all these different things that you can kind of do so um, there's three different options here so hatchling cloud just gives you a single domain two gigabytes memory two core cpu um, baby cloud unlimited domains four gigabytes memory four core cpu and then business cloud you know is obviously your highest i like using business cloud so that's kind of what i'm going to go with um, so if you come into business cloud here and click buy now So if you already have your own domain, you just go to, I already own, you know, own this domain, go to enter your domain, and you're going to have to point it to HostGator or transfer it to HostGator, depending on where you have it registered. If you don't have a domain at all, uh, which I don't yet, uh, what you're going to do is go in here, register a new domain, um, enter your domain name. So for domain names, you know, obviously my niche here, if you've been following the videos, is going to be farmhouse decor. Um, so for your domain, you want something that, is easy for people to remember and includes at least one word you know from from what your niche is so we went to camping tents before if i was going to come up with a domain name for camping tents it'd probably be you know best camping tents or top camping tents i'd probably start with something like that otherwise you go to like you know luxurious camping tents you know all sorts of those types of things top rated camping tents I like to use domain names that are descriptive, um, that people can kind of see in search results and say, okay, if I go to this website, I know what it's about just by looking at the domain name. So for my domain name, I want to just choose farm house goals, and you'll see over here .com. So I, I recommend using .com. I wouldn't use any of these other ones. .net is fine. .org is fine. .co. Some of these other ones are fine, you know, but... I really just like to use .com because it's kind of what people automatically go to. Um, what you're going to see right away is 
So I already have it available. It's added $15 for a year, per one year. Um, you could always add extra years as you go. Uh, so that just, it just depends on your, your preference. Uh, domain privacy protection. Um, so I always do domain privacy protection. Uh, so basically when someone searches your domain, it doesn't come up with all your personal information. It comes up with HostGator information. Um, I don't recommend, some people recommend buying all these different you know, URLs. You can buy farmhousegoals.net, farmhousegoals.org, some of these other ones like that. You can buy them if you want and keep them up, but it's really, I mean, all you really need is farmhousegoals.com. There's no benefit, in my opinion, unless you have so many people typing in your website or it's just become such a huge brand name that you want to take control of everything, which, you know, makes sense. If you're Amazon, you want amazon.net.org to just go to amazon.com. But for me, farmhousegoals.com, I'm just going to keep that. That's just the one I want. Um, Definitely want to keep domain privacy protection, so it's $1.25 a month, billed annually at $14.95. So basically, we're paying $30 for the domain and for a year of privacy. So that's for the year. So, you know, really cheap, honestly. Uh, so choosing a hosting plan. So basically, you could choose between Hatchling, Baby, and Business. Um, it's all, you know... Basically, you have more resources for business than you do for Hatchling. I recommend using Cloud Business. You can get 36 months at $9.95 per month. You know, probably the best deal you're going to get. Uh, so that's kind of what I always go with is just 36 months. If you want to start with three months at $19.95 per month, um, basically every three months you go back into a new billing cycle. And when your three months is up, you can say, okay, you know what? I like this hosting. I'm just going to sign up for 12 months right now at $11.95 a month, or I'm going to sign up at 36 months right now. So, you know, that's really a matter of preference of, of what you want to do. We're going to finish checking out here. So I put in all my personal information above. Obviously, I can't type that in front of you guys. Um, so down here, you're going to see add additional services. Uh, they have protect your site from hackers, get your professional email, back up your hard work. You can add these things if you want. Um, I'm not going to add them. There's different services you can use. Um, so it's it's really up to you. Get your professional email is definitely something you want to do. But uh, for now, I usually just do that directly through Google instead of going through HostGator. So, Okay, so my payment's complete. So now what you're going to get is when you sign up, you're going to get this thank you for your order, getting ready, we're setting up your account, uh, we're building your HostGator account, all these different things. You might just have to wait a few minutes. You'll get an email to set everything up to go into your HostGator account. And I'm going to show you what to do from there. Um, so this is basically all you have to do. So if you go to surfsideppc.com slash go slash hostgator.php, uh, you can get a good deal on your hosting. Uh, sign right up through HostGator. I just registered my domain name, farmhousegoals.com. I have hosting now for the next three years, a good hosting account. Uh, with HostGator, I can always... Uh, upgrade my hosting. I could always downgrade my hosting if I wanted to. They have a lot of different options, so you're not stuck into one thing. Uh, I prefer to go with three years because that's you know it gives me the best discount, and I also know that I'm I'm set for the next three years. And if if my website gets too big, there's other things I can do to you know to mitigate those problems. So that's basically it. So now we have our domain name and hosting. Uh, so through these lessons, what we've done so far is we, we went on Amazon.com, we found our niche, we found, you know, who we want to target. We did some keyword research, we made sure that our keyword volume is above 50,000 searches per month. And now we have our domain name, we have our hosting set up. And, you know, in our next video, we're going to go about installing WordPress and getting our website set up. So thank you for tuning in and uh, stay tuned for our next lesson or it should be on the playlist soon. Thank you.